In the study of any new catalyst, the collection of samples is essential for analyzing the activity and selectivity towards a desired product. For those reactions in gas phase, the product can be taken online to a GC, obtaining results in real time. However, there are many reactions like the Fischer-Tropp synthesis, in which both gas and liquid products are obtained. In these cases, liquids are separated from gases in a condenser downstream the reactor. In an atmospheric pressure reactor, the removal of condensed liquids in the separator is performed manually by an operator, but with this procedure, the products obtained through time might mix, leading to inaccurate results as the date of composition versus time would not be reliable. Furthermore, this procedure is not possible in systems operating at pressures higher than the atmospheric, like the Fischer-Tropp synthesis, which takes place at pressures up to 60 bar. This is due to the loss of the hydrostatic seal at the bottom of the separator, which would lead to a major leakage of gases. In these cases, the liquid gas separator has to have a level control loop, which ensures no gas leak occurs. But, if now we analyse what happens in the separator during a reaction like Fischer-Tropsch, which converts the syngas into a mixture of hydrocarbons and water, we will see that, instead of two phases, we obtain three, the non-reacted gas and two non-miscible liquid products. So, imagine now that you want to get a sample of the liquid product obtained in the reaction. Since the draining at high pressure requires a hydrostatic seal, the liquid must be removed from the bottom of the separator. But, taking into account that we have two phases, hydrocarbon and water, only the latter will be drained, whereas hydrocarbons, lighter than water, will remain on top, increasing its residence time in the separator. In order to solve this difficulty and achieve reliable and accurate results, we have created the L2 separator as the perfect tool for Fischer-Tropsch or other reactions in which two liquid phases are obtained. The L2 separator is not only able to separate gas from liquid at operating pressure with dead volumes of approximately 0.5 milliliters, but also of separating and draining in real time two non-miscible liquids, controlling the level of each one independently with a very high accuracy. The L2 of modular construction can be easily added to the microactivity reactor. It consists of a low volume vessel whose temperature is achieved by thermoelectric effect thanks to the Peltier cell. Instead of a differential pressure measuring system, which is not feasible for microvolume systems, it is equipped with two of our patented capacity level sensors, which have a linear response to the dielectric constant of the liquid. The vessel has one inlet for the reaction product and three outlets, one for the gas at the top and two for the liquids, water at the bottom and hydrocarbons above the water. In the L2 separator, each sensor is calibrated for one of the liquids. Thus, the hydrocarbon level sensor is fixed at the top, so that it only comes into contact with the lighter phase, whereas the water level sensor is at a lower position. Thanks to this patented design, when the reaction product enters, the cooling effect of the Peltier cell makes liquids condense. As they are non-miscible, water drops go to the bottom, creating a hydrostatic seal in its outlet as the level reaches a minimum value, as well as hydrocarbons, which create another seal in the second outlet. This way, each sensor reads the level corresponding to one liquid, sending a different signal to the level control valves placed at each outlet. These actuated valves are micrometric type valves with high performance and rangeability enabling drainage of every new drop of liquid and maintaining the level in the separator with high precision.